Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA San Andreas the Definitive Edition. On this part, we're going to be doing OG Lox missions. And if you guys enjoy this series, please do drop a like because it does help the series out a lot. So let's do his first mission here. Life's Look a beach. Real technical, gangster. Come. <laughs> you ain't run off again yet? No, gangster. I'm here for good. Yeah? Well, fuck this gig, man. I'm putting together the listener party for my album. But first... I need a sound system. Hey, I'm down as long as I don't have to go to the port. What you talking about, fool? Guaranteed I start playing, everybody will come through. Being real OG, I really ain't into rap no more. I'm more into that hardcore gangster shit. Well, that's me, homie. That's me, OG Love, baby. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I only like them if they rhyme real well. You know, well, anyway, what you want me to steal? That's what I'm talking about. Love for your homies. Now check it. I caught me a real fly sound system, cruising through the drive through I think they headed down to the beach for a beach party. Now check this out. I roll with you, and on the way, I can get a couple of freestyles. It's OG Loke in the place. You don't want to stop me with a gun in your face. Yeah, 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 OG, yeah, man. Let's shut the fuck up. Maybe I need to do this on my own. I believe in you. Gangster for life, homie. For life. Yeah, for life, homie. So OG Loke is a bit of a moron, and um, and CJ knows very well that if OG Loke comes with him, that he's only gonna slow him down, and he's not gonna be able to steal the van. He's gonna have to go back for him, cause he's probably gonna get caught. So that's probably why CJ didn't want OG Loke to come with him. So now this mission, a lot of people don't like this mission, but I actually don't mind this mission. It's actually not that I don't find this mission that difficult. A lot of people find this mission like really hard for some reason, but you know, you just time the buttons. I don't think it's really that bad personally. Um, but we might get a copyright claim for this. Let's see. When you get to the beach party, go and talk to the DJ. Now, you see, this is how stupid this is right now, because, like, I have to play this without music on. And that this is how ridiculous, like, copyright is on YouTube. Like, I really wish that I could play, like, the music, because, like, some of the songs that are actually playing for that van are actually really good. And San Andreas is a pretty good soundtrack. But unfortunately, um, to reply positively, press up. Just looking for some fun. Well, why don't you come and dance? Yeah, for sure. Let's see what you got. Oh no, here it is, the music, but probably gonna get a copyright claim for this. Some moves want to come and chat? Hey 
Yeah, for sure. That sounds nice. Let me take you into my office. Later, homie. Hey there, son. What's up, dog? You seen that five uncle show? The bomb, man. Later. Let me go find some chronic later. Now we drive it back to the garage. Oh, yep. They're not happy that their sound system just got stolen from them. Now we get out of here. They're gonna come after us in cars, though. Looks like we're not being chased. Oh no, I think we are. I think those two cars that just turned there really quickly. Oh yeah, they look like they're coming after us over there. So yeah, you know, that that's the whole mission pretty much, you know, just use the directional buttons and... You know, I, I don't find a mission that difficult, personally, um... Drive it in the garage, and we got it! Okay, let's go see OG Loke again. Mad Dog's Rhymes. <laughs> hey, 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 it's OG Loke, homie, and I'ma kick a little something like this. Hey, yo, when I come through, open the place, you don't want me to come with a gun in your face. I spit it hotter than anybody in the yo, world could do. That it's shit like I sucks. <laughs> Damn. Damn. My shit was wet. Hey, what's happening, Lo? Hey, Carl. What up, man? Hey, dude. You ever thought about getting a writer to help you out with this shit? Yeah, I did. But who, homie? Who? Shit. I ain't in the rap game. You know, that ain't my thing. But, um, we have to think about something. Man. How about if I get somebody to write something for me, only they didn't know about it? What? He means stealing. <laughs> I think I just might have found a ghostwriter. I become the beside all nighter, all writer. <laughs> Mad Dog's rhyme book from his home in the hills. Mad Dog's rhyme book? Man, you said you helped, Carl. Come on, man. I'm hot like fire all nighter, hey, all writer. Hey, 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 I'll do I anything, I homie. I swear that. Okay? So, a uh, Mad Dog is the most um uh is the most popular rapper in all of Los Santos, and he's apparently one of the most popular rappers in the world in um in the 3D um uh, GTA world. Um, but um, uh, Mad Dog lives in the hills, which would most likely would most likely be Beverly Hills. Um, uh, he lives above the Vinewood um sign, which is based on Hollywood. And so, um, uh, OG Loke wants, um, uh, CJ to steal his rhyme book. Rhyme book, which basically would be, um, uh, kind of like the book where he records his, um, writes down his rap and his lyrics and everything like that. So this is Mad Dog's house. Now the thing is though is that um this mission has a trophy and achievement in it in the um uh in the remaster and I believe it is that um uh take out all of Mad Dog's guards without being seen. 
So this is like the first time that we see stealth in a GTA game is in this mission here. And the thing is, though, is that um, uh, it, they better have a mission replay in this game. They better. Like, when you um, finish the game, because if they have certain missions with certain trophies, and you pass those missions, and you can't go back to replay those missions, that's gonna really suck. So they better have, like, a mission replay in this game. Usually you unlock a mission replay when you finish the game, but if they don't have a mission replay in this game, I'm gonna be pissed. Give up, homeboy. Oh, what the? Okay. Okay, that should have been an instant kill, but okay. We didn't get detected. The guard is patrolling around the swimming pool. Okay. You in a whole lot of trouble, tough guy. I can't do the um uh the knife animation. It's I'm pretty sure you just Mad Dog's mansion looks really good in the remake. Um So now the thing is though is that I can't, um, uh... What? Okay, wait, what the hell? No. Seriously? What the... In the original, when you just hid there, they would never find you. This is Mad Dog's gym here. That was some. That was. That was. That was not fair. Fucks. How can we fracture mess up so bad, Tanner? You suck ass. What? Well, we have a checkpoint at least. Um. Now, I actually saw a bunch of comments of you guys, um... Okay, did they, like, take out the stealth kill animation? Because... Okay, so I have to... Okay, I have to lock onto them. That's what I have to do. Um... Okay, there we go. They didn't take it out. Okay, so it's still in the game. You just have to, um, you just have to lock on. That's what, that's the trick. I don't think you had to lock on in the original, though. Um, you would just do it automatically, so that's, that's I guess, what I was doing wrong. Um, okay, guard is coming again. Find a suitable place to hide. So I saw a lot of comments of people just saying that the guards have this ridiculous vision in this mission. And in the original, it was um, pretty balanced. You know, you could sneak past them. You know, it wasn't easy, but I wouldn't say it was necessarily hard either. Don't push me. What the? What? What? What was that? Okay, that was weird. I see the guard. What was that? What kind of what kind of animation is that? Who were who were the animators on this? Like it <laughs> What the So I can like stab people without even stabbing them? Is that okay? Hey, 
Wow, the stab the stabbing animation is really bad. Um Okay, so now let's see if we can kill the rest of the guards quietly. My god, the, the, st the stabbing animation is like really bad. Okay, um, I guess we're not gonna get that trophy right now. I might just do, um, um, a video on how to get this trophy afterwards, um, but, um, yeah, this mission is pretty glitchy. Okay, let's get out of here now. I'll just take this back to OG Loke and that's it. I got what you wanted. Holmes, you ice cold, dude. Hey, I'll catch you later. Peace, homie. Hey, excuse me. Loke around here? What? Who? You want friends with that? <laughs> Loke. Is he available for communication? Who? Loke? Man. Oh, you mean Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, uh, plans technician called in six, so Jeff, Loke, he got promoted. So? So? He's out back cleaning the fryer. Normally places like this wouldn't let a customer, um, in the back. Hey, what up, Loke? But, you know, this is DJ. video game logic. Up, homie? Hey, my shit's so tight right now, it's about to bust. So you happy now, homie? Happy? Man, hell no. I can't take this shit much longer. Man, I'm an artist. I'd rather be inside. Man, I can't get it down for nothing. Motherfuckers always want to keep a nigga down. And that CPO, Mad Dog's manager, is putting on me real heavy, man. He covered my style for real. Heavy? Man, he five foot three. But that fool's strong. Man, we got to take him out. He done blackball me, man. I can't get in the game no way. I told you, I'm an artist, a communicator, and nobody can even hear my message. He going around telling everybody I'm whack. 
Well, he obviously ain't heard your new shit. That shit is outrageous. That's what I'm talking about, man. Down with a frown, on the tail, a sad clown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what you want me to do? I want you to take that motherfucker out. Kill him? Well, I ain't mean, damn. Listen, he gonna be a tennis in the wall seven months. And that's the only time he leaves dog side. So OG Loke wants some um, uh, CJ to kill a uh, Mad Dog's manager. So um, notice how how um uh how CJ says kill him, like CJ is, is goes along with it in the end, but CJ isn't as cold blooded as like um uh, Tommy Versetti or as Claude. So out of the characters in the trilogy, I'd say you know CJ is probably the least evil out of the three characters. Claude's definitely the most evil. Ah, oh, low. What's up now, man? When the mad dog show fuzz just stepped the burger shot across town. Said he was headed over to the musical room. Good looking. I'm gonna see if I can catch up with him. Damage the car to force the driver out. Okay. Hey, what the fuck are you playing at? Oh, you think I'm a bitch, huh? Oh. Okay, we take the car now. Now we gotta get it fixed. And the repair shop is right here. Um... Now we want to get it repaired. Um... Oh, I drove in the wrong garage, but I'm surprised that that I'm surprised that garage can't repair your car only the paint spray can do that. Okay, whatever But like a promotion at a place that like OG Loke works that's not really much You know they'll throw a ton more work on you and barely give you any um any extra like for instance like when I worked in retail um, they wanted to promote me to a supervisor several times, but I kept telling them no. And the reason was, was because it would be like a dollar more an hour, that's it. And instead, they would have you do all this other crazy stuff, open and close the store, deal with directly with customer complaints, run overnight nights, deal with the truck drivers. I'm like, yeah, no thank you. And being responsible for, you know, counting all the money in the safe and everything. It's like, and I'm like, you know, no thank you. Not for like an extra, a dollar an hour extra. No, that's not worth it for all that extra responsibility. So no thank you. You know, and that's why. Hey, what kept you? Come on, we need to go and pick up the bus. So when they say he got promoted, that's not really much. Um... Congratulations on your award. You must be thrilled. This is funny. I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like to thank my fans, my mama, and my dealer. I like to thank my fans, my mama, and my dealer. Keep in the middle of the two cars until you reach the award ceremony. Okay. And this mission, this is probably the most evil thing that CJ has done in the entire game. I'd say this mission right here. Um, Keep frosty, guys. Oh, here it is. Hey man, take me back to Dog's Mansion. Not today, asshole. Today, we taking the scenic route via the bottom of the ocean. There's a pier to the south that you can dump the car off. So. 
Who the fuck are you? Where's my usual driver? Unlock this fucking door. I can't fucking swim, you fucking psycho. Ah, so I've heard. What you want, fool? Money? I got bitches. Loads of fine bitches. Take it. They'll do anything you want. You want a record contract? Man, I can... Shut up! Keep your speed up to the end. This is kind of messed up now. So right there, CJ murdered the uh, Mad Dog's manager and his girlfriend, just dumping them in the water when they couldn't swim, um, uh, just kidnapping them. That's probably the most messed up thing that um uh that that CJ has done. Oh, call. What's happening? Don't try to hit me up with that ghetto babble boy. Officer Tim Penny, how you get my number? Ways and means, you piece of shit. You been trying to avoid me? No, sir. I just been busy. That's all. You're not busy unless you're doing something for us, you understand? Yeah. Loud and clear. Nice to hear it, Carl. Call in to the donut place in the middle of market. We need to talk. Don't make me call for my pimp. Oh, so uh, I like it how the crash symbol is blue on the um on the map. Care what you heard? I ain't nobody's ass technician, bitch. Hey, hey, what's up, Low? Technician ain't gangster. That's what's up. I heard that. Listen, Carl, if I'm going back to a cell, I want to have a big party first. This may be my last chance to get home. Okay, so what's the plan? Well, I'm gonna slide back over to Grove Street and get those sounds bombastic, fantastic. All right, so what you want me to do? I want you to get ready for the park and get some girls, man. Okay. Get some real fly girls, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The ones in the bikinis and uh -huh. shit in the videos. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I told you, brother, I'm the chronicle of our struggles. The voice of the families, like Moses, only keeping it real. You said it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I guess we'll probably leave it off here. Oh, we're getting a phone call still? Who's this? Hey, CJ. Where what up, G? Hey, Lo. This party is jumping. We got a gang of crazy ass bitches in the house. You coming over, homie? Uh, I don't know, man. I had some plans tonight. But we had a big disaster. I won't be rapping. My mic's broken. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna come over right now, then. <laughs> he said CJ didn't want to hear OG Loke's rap, but um. Uh, on this, uh, on the next part, we'll be, um, we'll be doing the house party mission, and we'll also do Officer Tenpenny's missions. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you guys are, please do drop a like. It does help the series out a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.